All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try and put this back together. Hopefully, video's not too screwed up because I did the first two all vertical and crap. So first things first, I'm going to take the propeller. After you've pushed the motor back in there. The propeller, obviously, has a hole in it. So you want to basically just slide the sky back on there. So it's going to spin, spin freely. And you are going to bottom out and it's going to spin just like this and it'll be fine. You don't have to totally work it on there um, to where it totally bottoms out because you don't want to break anything. You don't want to break the plastic. You don't want to break the housing. If it's on there and it's spinning, you should be good to go. So one thing I should point out on this guy right here, you see that little arrow? That arrow points at that little line right in there. This line absolutely has to line up. Let's see if I can see my screwdriver right in here. Because as this blade spins, it actually shoots the water up here. This is where, sorry, the solution actually shoots up into the cleaner. So this pushes the water up and in here. So as you can see, this helps aid that it helps shoot the water straight up into the uh to the pipe so you have to line this up so it's it's obviously not hard all you gotta do is literally just you know kindergarten shit the square goes in the square and triangle goes in the triangle nothing nothing crazy so as long as you get that lined up and all you gotta do is just pop it on there so I think I gotta go back to kindergarten. Where in the hell did it? There it is. This one you want to make sure you have on all the way. So it should be just about that. And it's back in. So you can look down here. You can see the propeller. And just as a cursory glance, you want to make sure. Grab a grab a stick. Grab a, your tiny screwdriver. And just make sure. You see how... Look. See how it's not spinning freely? That means I didn't push the impeller down far enough. So what I'm going to do, I hope, I'm going to try and push this down a little bit more. So it was spinning freely before. Whoops. Let me do that. Okay, it's spinning freely. Okay, where did I mess up? Am I stupid? I am. I am stupid. Okay, so I take that back. So, this line right in there actually goes right there. So, that's where that goes. So, the line has to line up right there in that outside uh, jammer, mamber jammer. 
There we go. So that one pops in no problem. So here's one more, one more, one more look. Make sure everything's all copacetic. There. Now the motor's running freely. And that's what you want. So now comes the tricky part. Tricky, tricky. <clears throat> so what you want to do? Sorry, guys. First time doing this. Ooh. So you want to get this back on. So just make sure you have the connectors. Everything's connected. <clears throat> make sure because you will have to take this little uh, o-ring out in order to get the get this out because you do not want to lose that so if you take that out make sure you put that back in connectors are in grease is in everything is looking good um so here we go here we go so i'm gonna put this back in so this obviously this obviously goes back in here that's the easy part the other part is making sure you don't I'm trying to get a good bead on it for you guys. So that goes on just like that. So you want to make sure this tube right here. That tube right there goes where that O-ring goes, okay? And just make sure you're not pinching any wires, preferably the motor wires. Make sure those are out of the way. If you need to, just use your screwdriver and push them out of the way while you put that down. <clears throat> make sure that's good and go, good to go. And the next part is getting that screw back in. So I'm gonna try and do this. So if you have this upside down, the screw actually sits in the body itself. So you can set that in while you have this upside down and while you're holding the uh we're gonna call it the cup i guess the washer itself and then i'm going to close the body again and screw that down <clears throat> so the reason i'm halfway putting this back together and just tightening it down with the screw is you always, 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 always I'm going to test everything out before you put it back together. That's like car diagnos diagnostic for pretty much anything 101. So we're going to put the solution in. What? Close that sucker down. So as you can see, the drain, this guy over here, the drain goes inside the little hole. And then this guy, where we just replaced the motor, goes right down in there. Just like that. So in the event that you are low on a uh, solution, you can actually see that the motor, obviously with the cover off though, the motor wouldn't be able to suck up any of the fluid. And when the fluid actually gets sucked up, what happens is obviously the level goes down. The level goes down 
and it can actually throw the error saying that there's low uh, solution level <clears throat> even while it's running because what happens is I, w I accidentally, um, I accidentally uh, actually spilled some of this while I was working on this. So this actually should be a little bit higher, but where I'm going to show you once I turn, test this and turn it on, the water level is going to go down. The drain over here is going to drain it back in and it's going to do this loop. It's going to stop sucking up solution. It's going to let it drain back down to kind of like give it some time to, uh, to sterilize and clean the shaver, obviously. So, so now that's in, uh, that's down. Everything's plugged in. <clears throat> I'm going to plug this in. So what you are going to see in just like that the light will turn on you can put this guy you can put this guy back in so the two points go in that slot just like that so the little hook the little J hook sits on the outside of that and that's what actually gives it the spring back. So I'm gonna hit the power button. So obviously the shaver's not in there. So just making sure that it works. We're gonna do that. Shaver's in, shaver's charging. And now It works like a charm. So I hope this was helpful. See, it's still pushing out solution. Most of the solution while it's cleaning is inside the bucket. So you can see it's a, a lot coming back in. So that's how that works. And hopefully this reaches out to somebody. Again, I will put the part number for the Amazon motor that, I, uh, that my wife found for me <clears throat> in the description below to hopefully help some other poor soul that <clears throat> had a hard time trying to fix their... $150 cleaning slash razor combo uh, for about six or eight bucks. So all it was was just this guy got rusted out, got burned out, and it's ready to go. So thank you.